Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to Spectacle Island. We're uh, starting off on a new morning today, just giving Dogsy a little bit of food. Haven't seen him for a little bit, uh, but he was due to be fed, so we've just done that. Now we've got our honours board updated, got Dylan's name up there as well. Obviously already on to a second row, hope we're not going to run out of space. Not for a few more episodes yet. Obviously last time we got all our corn harvested and put into our silos, plus a little bit given to the pigs. Uh, we're left with quite a lot of corn stalks here, which we will obviously get bailed up and hopefully sold today. Uh, but the other task we're going to do, and what we're going to start off with actually, is we're going to head down and plough the grass field that we got uh, mowed, which is going to become our new field. Uh, that is going to be our first task today, and we're actually going to meet our assistant for the day down there. Uh, and he is going to run the tractor for us. Just get the plough there. One of the few things that is light enough for us to pick up, pick up and move around and manhandle. If we just get it slid in there under the tractor, it should be all good. All right, just going to move this mower, which we bumped as well. So those are our main two tasks today: uh, ploughing and corn stalk baling. Still working on the truck. We actually don't have enough money yet for the parts we need for it, uh, so that is going to be something hopefully we can do once we've got these cord socks all bailed up and sold. So let's jump in the tractor and we'll head down to the road and down to the field there. I'm just having a look how much diesel we've got, 23 litres. I wonder how much more have we got left here. Only got the one 20 litre uh, drum there or 20 litre container. Let's just check the Deutz. It's also, oh, it's got 100 litres. So we'll be using both of these tractors quite a bit today. So I think uh, we better put a little bit here in the fence. So we'll use this up and we will have to figure something out. Maybe we need to look at getting a on-site fuel tank of some description uh, put somewhere, which we can get fuel deliveries to and effectively buy direct from the fuel uh, fuel tank. There we go. That is, well, it's two thirds full now because this only has a 60 litre tank. So let's make our way down to the grass field and meet our helper down there. All right, just pulling in down here and there we have our helper for today. So we'll just uh, head in here, we'll park the tractor and go and have a chat to him, brief him on what we're going to be doing. Good morning there, this is Bears Den Gaming. So good morning Bears Den, I'm just going to call you Bear for the day. I think Bears Den Gaming might be a little bit of a mouthful for me to handle. I already get tongue tied enough as it is. But welcome along mate, great to have you here. Bear is one of our, uh, actually one of our channel members. So he's a really big supporter of the channel. He sent me a message and said he would uh, be happy to come and help anytime I needed. Great at baling straw and corn stalks and doesn't mind getting his hands dirty mucking out stalls or hauling manure around for the greenhouses. And feel free to reach out. So I reached out to him and he is here. And his first task is going to be, not what he said he was good at, but uh, ploughing this field. So we'll get him set up here and uh, get him underway. Alright, so we've got Bear set up here in the tractor. He is heading down to the first waypoint. Uh, hopefully he's not going to crash into this tree. No, he's going to find his way around it. So we've got the course set up on lands and we're going to start on the up and down rows rather than the headlands. So I'm not sure how this is going to go for negotiating. Uh, obviously there's this a very narrow little piece up here in the corner which might take just a little bit of time to get finished or get started and get done before we move on to the others. There we go, we've got our create fields turned on and that seems to have done what it's meant to be doing. So we uh, might just let him work away here for a little bit and come back and check on progress once he's made a start and got a little bit through the field. We will uh, head back down, jump into the Deutz and make a start on getting some of those corn stalks bailed. So just as we're walking back down to the farm or down to the yard, uh, just thought I'd poke our nose in here at the sunflowers. They have germinated and look to be uh, growing pretty well, nice and green. Obviously we don't need to do anything with them until they're ready to harvest. They are all fully fertilised and uh, just need to grow. So we'll leave them to it and go down and get the balers all hooked up. 
So we've got the baler here all hooked up. We do have a little bit of straw still sitting in here, but uh, that will obviously convert into a straw bale before we get a corn stalk bale out of there. But that's uh, fine. We can keep hold of that like we have with the other ones and use it for the pigs. But these corn stalks will probably, I expect, or I'm hoping, are going to be worth a little bit more than the normal straw would be. So we'll just uh, crack into it. You'll see down the bottom at the bale counter I have managed to reset that. That is a part of the straw harvest mod uh, which we need to be able to use the baling twine on this baler and just by pressing N it reset that to zero. Obviously it gives you a total count of bales but the zero means we will have a count on how many bales we've done in this session or uh, multiple sessions of, until we reset it again. So I think we'll just crack into doing this. Uh, it might be an appropriate use of a little time lapse to get this all bailed up uh, before we move into the second field. corn stalks were a reasonably good option to keep but I did not expect to get as many off this little field as we have. Uh, the counter is sitting at 17 at the moment so that uh, when you look across the field they are everywhere. Ended up with a great amount. So I think before we carry on into the second field I'm actually going to get these ones loaded up and 18 total once we've ejected that last one. I'm going to get these ones loaded up and down to the sell point just to make sure that they are worth doing uh, and with that many coming out I think we might need to uh, get Bear to come and give us a hand. He did say that bailing was one of his uh, specialties so I didn't want to go ahead and do it all on my own. So we'll, uh, we'll get him over here soon but for now we're just going to disconnect this here and we will go and hook up onto the trailer and then we will uh, get the wheel loader and get everything started on uh, loading them up. Alright so we've got the tractor out there in the field we've got the forks here on the front of the front loader so we'll just go around I think from memory when we did the straw we could fit four stacks of three on this trailer pretty comfortably so we will aim to do the same again I'm not going to uh, go around and time lapse all of this I know it can be a little bit jarring to watch so we'll just concentrate here for a minute or two and get a couple of stacks on the trailer and then we'll uh, jump to having a loaded trailer ready to run down to the straw barn and face the music about whether this is worth all this effort or not there we go, there is three on the front, so if we just head over here, need to be quite close on the front of the trailer because they uh, do only just fit in here between the guards. It's a bit hard to back out too if you've got any lock on the uh, wheel loader because obviously the forks don't want to come out straight. Need to get that backwards a little bit, in fact I'm going to square up on this and give it another go just to make sure we... Uh, in the right position. There we go. That looks a little bit better. One time we've driven forward and got those on the edge of the trailer. We'll just try that there. Take those prongs out and we'll just slowly back out and hope we don't collapse the load. There we go. Perfect. 
All right, well there's one on. We'll uh, get three more of those put together and then we'll be down to the straw bun. All right, and there we go, first load done. So we'll just get these back ones strapped on. Don't want them flying off like we've had happen before. We got that two across. We've got to put a couple more across the front here if we can. One more across the middle here. Lots of straps on this trailer, which is nice. All right, we'll hop in and uh, make our way down to the straw barn. Two, four, six bales left in there, which would be correct. We had 12 and six is 18. So let's go and see if this is all worthwhile. It's the moment of truth. Let's drive through the trigger and see if this was all worth it or not. I haven't actually looked to see what the uh, price was like, but there we go, six and a half thousand dollars. So that is not bad. With the, or half a load back there, that's another three grand. So ten grand worth of bales off the first field. If we can get, well, who knows, fifteen grand worth of bales off the second field, with it being a little bit bigger, that's not going to be a bad little income, twenty-five grand worth of bales. I'm not even looking at the value of the corn. So just on its own, these corn stalks really are worth doing. So we'll get back, we'll get those last six loaded up, and then we'll carry on with the baling. Just a slight change in plan. I'm not going to put the bales on the trailer. Uh, if I'm going to disconnect it to hook the baler back up, we don't want these bales sitting on the trailer uh, unattached to a tractor or anything because that uh, any front stand on that trailer will just sink, break, uh, probably not designed to be carrying the weight of six bales sitting on it. So we'll just leave these sitting here and uh, get them loaded up when it's time to take them all out of the field. Just tidy that one up, they seem to have moved a little bit there on the top. There we go, it should just about do it. Right, just before we do change over the tractor and put it back on the baler, we'll just grab the straw bale, uh, which was the first one that came out of the baler, and we'll go and deposit this in the shed. Uh, I might even check if the pigs need it and uh, take it straight over there. We're just looking at the pigs here, they won't take the whole bale, but they will take some of it. Uh, they look like they probably need a couple of thousand litres, so we'll go this and take this over there and top up their straw and leave the rest for uh, when they need another top up. And there we go, not quite a thousand litres, so a little bit less than I thought they needed. But that's fine, so we might just leave this bale just here, we'll put it against the shed and uh, be able to use it next time they need some more. Got a little bit more manure sitting here too, which is good. We'll be able to get that shipped over to the greenhouse and make sure things are continuing to be produced over there. There we go, you can see it in there. Alright, let's go and sort this baler back out. So I did say we would let Bear come over and do some baling, so he is sitting there in the baler at the moment and uh, going to get this field done. So we will leave him to this. Uh, we'll take a wee bit of time, obviously a little bit longer than it took us to do the other field. While he is doing that, we are going to head over and take a check on the ploughing. He obviously hasn't quite finished yet, but we're going to jump into the vent. Do a little bit of ploughing over there, hopefully get that finished by the time we're done. Hopefully Bear will be done and we'll be able to get the rest of these bales all loaded up. And uh, down to the straw barn, get some more money into the account. Here we go, he's running over the other side of the field there. Uh, shouldn't be any problems with the bank uh, I do know we're running on the same course play course as what the combine used. So, fingers crossed we don't get a tractor and baler into the ocean because I don't really want to be dealing with extracting that today. But we'll move over and see how we're going on the ploughing. So I must admit he has made more progress than I thought he might have uh, quite a way across this field already. Not quite halfway I don't think. Just looking back across the other way we've got a wee bit further to go. But, uh, all in all, very good progress. So, we're just going to carry on doing this, uh, and I think, like I said, I reckon we can get this done just as quickly as Bear can be over there getting the rest of that straw baled. So, we might crack into a little bit of a montage of both of us working, and we'll see you once both jobs are done. to be yours
So we've just had the notification there that Bear has finished the baling. So we'll pop over there in just a minute and uh, see how that's all gone. I'd expect there's probably going to be a few bits in the corner he's missed where the combine course swung out and threw the straw a little bit off track, but uh, we can go around and tidy those things up. Uh, what I might do actually though is get him to come back over here and run the headland passes on this. Just because then I know, using course play, he will be following the edge that I want the field to be to. So uh, we'll get these couple of passes done and then go and make that change. We've just done the old driver swap. Uh, I'm just tidying up the last few bits in the field, at least to get one more bale out of here. We've got 26% full, so we should be able to, with some of these larger leftover pieces on the edge of the field, we should be able to get that extra bale pretty comfortably. But uh, so far, 50 bales, so if we get one more, we'll have 51 total, uh, 18 in the other field, so that'll be 33 out of this field, uh, and that is a good result. Every 12 bales was worth about, uh, what was it now, $6,500. So if we can get three more loads like that, we've got another 20 grand or there, thereabouts. Hopefully we'll see how we go getting this last little bit picked up. We'll see if there is enough for another bale or not. Otherwise we'll go and park up and get the trailer hooked back up and start getting these all sold. Oh, not quite enough left there for one more bale, but at least it means when we use the baler next, we're not going to be uh, putting a whole lot of whatever crop into the baler and getting a cornstalk bale out. It will only be a small amount. So I think we'll get this over here. Now, a few of you have commented, and I have realised we do need to do quite a bit of maintenance. Both the baler and the tractor are getting quite damaged, uh, they're quite low on the maintenance and they can probably use a clean as well. Now the tractor is still going to be doing a few more miles uh, cutting the bales down to the cell point so we won't worry about giving that a wash, we'll do that once we're finished but while we're here we will give the baler a quick wash off and we'll go and grab the toolbox and make sure it is all serviced before we put it away the next time. So there we go, $59 and that is all back to 100% condition and uh, looking nice and clean. So we'll just leave the toolbox here because if we're going to be doing some more uh, washing and cleaning we're going to be needing that as well. We'll get the baler backed in and I go and start getting these bales loaded. We're over here in the second field we've got the first six bales out of the other one all loaded up here so we'll just grab a couple more stacks without trying to knock the trailer over a little bit awkward I'm not quite as square as I would like to be Let's see if we can get that out without anything falling over looks all right once it uh, have found its own natural balance so we'll grab a, another three bales and then we will head down to get this sold Hopefully Bear will be with us soon uh, and he will be able to run the trailer down to the cell point each time and I'll be able to stay here and get some piles stacked up ready to load out when he gets back. Alright load number two down here, I'm assuming we'll get the same value we got last time, oh, one hasn't sold there, uh, but that's that four, five, five thousand two hundred dollars. So that's, uh, that's good again, we will head back up, might stop in and check on Bear, see how he's going with the ploughing before uh, we're getting back into the field. And get the last couple of loads done, I think we'll have two bales left over so I may, uh, I may put one extra on top of each load just to make sure we get them all back here. All, all down to the cell point in just the two trips. And there we go, it looks like Bear's doing a fantastic job as to be expected. I think he may have one more lap to go, which will pick up the last of those bits of grass there. But uh, all in all, looking very nice and tidy. So we'll uh, take a look at that field once he's finished and just compare it to the size of some of the other fields we've got already, just to see how big it actually is. Uh, I was thinking I may even consider putting the uh, community extension tools in just so I can measure the areas. It'd be interesting to get a uh, accurate count on how big each field is. But we're back here ready to get some more straw loaded so we'll park up 
get into the loader and uh, get this all moved out of here. Well there goes Bear, he must be finished ploughing which is uh, good timing because we've just about got a load here to take down to the straw barn so uh, we'll let him go and get that parked back up at the yard and uh, then he can come down and take this trailer down to get these bales sold for us. Here we go, trailer is loaded and beer is off down to the straw barn. We've got that extra bale up on top. Hopefully it doesn't make it too top heavy. Uh, I have warned him, don't go too fast around the corners. So fingers crossed, it all stays upright. We'll let him do that and uh, we'll carry on getting these bales stacked. So when he gets back, we're all ready to get that trailer loaded again. There we go, we've just had notification that the bales are sold. Another uh, 5000 or so dollars there, so that's good. I'm pleased to see that that worked and that Beer was able to get down there safely without any incidents. There goes the last load off to be sold. Now I had miscalculated, I thought there was two extra bales. There was only of course one because of the straw bale which came out first, which we took over to the pigs. So we'll let Beer run that down to the sell point and uh, get those sold but that's been a very productive hour or two getting the other field ploughed and all of those corn stalks picked up and uh, sold and profitable profitable hour and a half or so as well all right there we go i'm just trying to pick the uh hose up and it was detecting the trigger for the toolkit We'll get this cleaned off while a beer is down selling those last few bales. And I think we will have one more task to do today, and that is to get some lime applied to the grass field. And from then I'll have to give some thought as to what we're going to plant in that one. Uh, we're obviously going to have three fields to plant. Now these corn fields, I am going to have to have a look and see if we can source a bigger plough. Uh, both of them need ploughing because they had obviously had corn in them previous and having to do them both with that uh, small two metre plough on the fent uh, might be a little bit of a challenge so we might have to have a look and see if we can find something a little bit larger something a bit more efficient uh, the fent won't be going anywhere though because it is uh, such a good tool to have for mowing the butterfly mower on that I don't think it could be beaten by anything while we're here we'll get in and quickly repair this. Uh, don't seem to have workshop tapper in so I can't do the walk on the front. But yes, as I was saying, the fent will be uh, will be kept because it will be valuable to have for mowing and uh, just for some odd jobs around the farm. There we go, we're getting all those last few bales sold and another $5,200. So I think all up we've made pretty much bring on 25 grand off all those bales, which is a great profit. Very happy with that. Bear has just returned from the straw barn. We are just getting a little bit more lime put here into our lime spreader. Well, at least that is the plan, I hope too. And uh, once we've done that, we're just going to race down and try and get some lime put on that field. Just so uh, we've got that done and complete and don't have to worry about it next time so uh, we'll do that I think uh, we'll let Bear park that up hopefully he'll give everything a little bit of a clean off and uh, do any maintenance that might be needed be uh, very helpful if he was able to do that we'll just get pulled into the field here and get the spreader turned on and just make a start on racing around and doing this we will put this on a very quick little time lapse such a wide spreader it won't take us very long I do just hope we've got enough to cover this field in one go Otherwise we'll just have to shoot back up to the yard and top it up.
And there we go, that is the lime all applied. Obviously you would have seen we didn't manage to get it all done in one trip. We did have to go back and fill up, but that's fine, it's not exactly very far to have to go. So we'll uh, just get back up to the yard and wrap things up there. Just while we're driving back, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who has commented on the videos uh, and offered to be a part of this series. Uh, it's just a small way I'm able to give back to you all your support. Obviously it's very hard, I only have one worker each episode uh, and when I'm getting half a dozen or ten different offers it makes it very difficult to pick one. So if you've missed out, um, keep trying. I do remember who's written what and uh, I do try and pick someone from the previous episode rather than reflecting back on uh, three or four episodes ago for comments. So keep trying, uh, I've got plenty more episodes of Spectacle Island to go, uh, I'm not going to be wrapping this, episode, uh, this series up anytime soon. I'm really enjoying it and it seems that a lot of you are too, so long may it continue, even past the imminent release of FS22. But here we are, back at the yard, like I said it's not very far to go and uh, just after that brief little rambling, we are here. So I think uh, I do need to service this vehicle, I will top the spreader up with lime I think, uh, in fact I won't just in case we want to use it for, turned it on. I meant to turn the tractor off. There we go. Just in case we want to uh, use that for fertilizer next time, I won't top it up. We'll uh, leave it like that. But there we are. It does look like Bear has given that tractor a clean for us and has been admiring his handiwork, giving it a service and making sure it is all nice and clean. So once again, thank you Bear, Bear's Den Gaming for your assistance today. It was a pleasure to have you here. And to everyone else, thank you all very much for watching. Do hope you have enjoyed that episode, and I will catch you in the next one.